to finish. Well, let's see. Uh, Alan says his good nights to the audience, leaves him with a philosophical thought such as... Uh, wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. I got it. He's a good night, folks. And remember, a friend in need is a pest. <laughs> We've got all of 59 minutes here to do jokes. Now, we should end the show with a, a serious, homey thought. Yeah, good idea. Serious, homey thought. Serious. Hey, I got a good, serious, homey thought. Remember, folks, keep your garbage cans covered. <laughs> Gotta get you right in there. Maybe it's over here. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm hungry. Come on, let's see. Oh, wait. Well, we got to get it finished. I got it. I got it. Alan does one of his eccentric dances. You know when he dances up a storm here? Get the oh. curtain coming down. Oh, you be. Oh, he. Zink. Oh. <laughs> How do you like that? We're looking for a finish. Here he is. <laughs> uh, if that's in this week's script, it's out. Uh, Rob, can you give me a minute of your time? Well, I'd like to give you about 30 days. <laughs> what is it, Bill? I'd like you to meet my cousin Maxwell. Maxwell? Love to. Oh, boy, this should be a thrill. Uh, Maxwell, do come in. Maxwell, do come in. My, what a strange name. <laughs> Look at this. Will the real Baldy please stand up? <laughs> oh, this guy will laugh at anything. Watch. Shoehorn. Uh, this is Sally Rogers, one of our staff writers. Hi, Max. <laughs> and this is Rob Petrie, our head writer. <laughs> Hi, uh, Maxwell. How do you do? <laughs> well, uh, I'm, I'm Buddy Sorrell, and may I say that any cousin of Mel's is certainly uh, who will mention it to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's certainly nice to meet all of you. <laughs> uh, Maxwell uh, sells wholesale jewelry. He just brought up some cufflinks I ordered, and I thought maybe you'd like to see his stock in case you needed anything. Yeah. Hey, I'm a little low on emeralds this week. Listen, I'll look if you promise not to let me buy. Okay, what'll it be? Cufflinks, earrings, necklaces, bracelets? Hey, maybe I'll buy some cufflinks. My wife tickles. <laughs> buy cufflinks for your wife? Sure, so she can give them to me for my birthday. You always pick out your own birthday present? No, I'm going to leave it up to her warped opinion. Look what she picked for her husband. <laughs> All of our prices are 30% below store prices. You see, Maxwell doesn't have any overhead. And it runs in the family, don't it, Kurt? <laughs> and it's very good. It's funny. <laughs> He's a riot. <laughs> Look, I'll leave you here. I've got a lot of work to do. Yeah, the waste paper baskets are all filled. <laughs> Well, is there something I can show you, Mr. Petrie? Your money clips, rings, tie clips, men's watches? <laughs> Maxwell, uh, how about these cufflinks? I like these. Doesn't do good for my wife to get me for my birthday. What do you think? Let me see here. Uh, 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 originally, that was uh, for the, for the, for the, for the, for the, with a 30%, uh, with a discount, $35. Hey, all right, I'll take them. Just charge them to me, all right? Hey, Max, how much for these uh, fairly pretty uh, overpriced earrings? Well, I better take a look here. Uh, oh, now, originally they were from the sort uh, with a discount, $35. <laughs> okay, I'll take them. And you can bill me, too. Yeah, don't worry about our credit. Ask the hundreds of people we owe money to. <laughs> <laughs> Make up your mind yet, Mr. Petrie? Hey, Rob, you want to go with us? We're going to have some seafood. Uh, no, thanks. I'm not hungry. No? Well, that's you and me, young lady. Would you care to join me in a bowl of clam chowder? 
Well, do you think there's room in there for two of us? <laughs> Shoehorn. You have good taste, sir. <laughs> you have your hands on the Empress Carlotta. I have? This is a copy of Empress Carlotta's necklace. Quite impressive, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a chandelier. <laughs> <laughs> the Empress Carlotta's husband, uh, oh, yeah. Maximilian of Austria. Mm, you yeah. do have a knowledge of antiques, don't you, sir? <laughs> Well, no, that's history. Everybody now, you see, the original is in a museum in Madrid, and it's valued for a quarter of a million dollars. I understand Maximilian presented the original to Carlotta just before she went mad. <laughs> she probably saw the price. <laughs> <laughs> you do know jewelry, don't you, sir? Well, no, not really. Well, how much is that? The price of this is going to surprise you. How much is it? $39.50. For this? But with the discount, $35. <laughs> you interested in it? Well, no, only in its history, really. It, I tell you, it's a little, a little too... too uh, but it's too unusual. Yeah. Because I agree, yes. Uh, only a woman of rare and sophisticated tastes could understand a piece like this. Well, my, uh, my wife's pretty sophisticated. Now this, this is a very plain and popular number. You don't need any special taste or understanding to like this. What do you think? Well, it's, it's very nice. It's not very exciting, but it's a safe present. Uh, how much is that? $33. $33. What do you think? You mean for two extra dollars I get all this? <laughs> <laughs> it simply is a big present. I don't know. You like it? Mr. Petrie, all I can tell you is this. When you are walking down the street with your wife and she is wearing that necklace, people will stop, point, and say, look at that woman. <laughs> Yeah, wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Honey, boy, come on out and greet your emperor. <laughs> Hi, Manny. Hi. Take off your apron. Why? Because an empress doesn't wear an apron to a coronation, that's why. You'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit dense, Your Majesty, but you see, I've been scrubbing the palace floors all day and doing the king's laundry, and uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? First, take off the apron and sit down, Your Loveliness, because in about 12 seconds, you're going to give out with the biggest, oh, Rob, that you ever gave out. <laughs> <laughs> You shouldn't have. Or should you? What is today? It isn't your birthday, and it isn't your anniversary either. Well, what is it then? It's coronation day at the Petries. <laughs> <laughs> For you, honey. Well, what's the occasion? No occasion. Just bought it for you because you're such a nice guy, that's why. <laughs> Something? Yes. Well, it's 
really is something. Oh, boy, I was afraid you weren't going to like it. <laughs> Were you afraid of oh, that? Oh, boy, was I. Honey, do you really like it? Well, what a silly question. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it, it, it's kind of an unusual piece, you know, and a lot of people might think it's too much, you know. Hey, let me try it on you. I want to see how it looks. Well, but I'm really not dressed right to do justice to it. <laughs> Just for fun, honey. I want to see how you look in it. Now stand up. It's, um, kind of heavy. Oh, tell me. You look more majestic than Empress Carlotta. It, it, it does something for you. Did you say Empress Carlotta? That was designed especially for her. Wait a minute, I'll get the mirror. Well, then this is a, a real piece of jewelry. Well, it's not the one Max Million had designed. That cost a quarter of a million dollars. And this one? Now, honey, it's not polite to ask the price. <laughs> I, I mean, wasn't it too much money? Now, honey, that's none of your business. <laughs> it's your job just to wear it and enjoy it, okay? Okay. <laughs> oh, Rob. Thank you for being so sweet and thoughtful. Honey, do you really like it? Like it? Rob, I cherish it. You know what I'm going to do? No, what? I'm going to take this necklace and put it in this little box and lock it up in my dresser drawer forever. <laughs> oh, that's, that's only when it's not going to be around your neck, because most of the time you're going to be wearing this. <laughs> it even looks good from the back. Boy. Hey, Bob, when can we come out of the kitchen? You come in now. I'm all finished. Boy, I'm telling you, where's this fabulous necklace you invited us over to rave about? I had to get the stage set first. You guys in show business, everything's a big production. Hey, come on, sit down. All man. right, well, let's go, huh? You all ready? Yeah. Mm. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> May I present the Empress Carlotta? This is so silly. Jerry, huh? really? What you is that the wildest necklace you ever saw in your life? Wow. It must have cost a fortune. Yeah. Millie, what do you think? Oh, Rob, I don't know what to say. It certainly is wild. <laughs> I can't wait to take her out and show her off in this. Oh, Rob, it's a knockout. It looks like a chandelier. <laughs> When I first saw it, I, I couldn't make up my mind whether I liked it or not, but it, 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 it grows on you, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it does look like it's growing. <laughs> hey, Rob, Rob, no? where did you find it? I'd like to pick out one just like it for Millie. No! <laughs> if I found one just like it for Millie? Well, I don't know, Jerry. Of course she'd mind. <laughs> I'd mind. The whole neighborhood would mind. <laughs> Let's get some coffee. Yeah, I'd like to get some coffee. <laughs> you know something, Jerry? I see what Millie means. I mean, about two necklaces, you know, that makes sense. Yeah, I guess you're right. I don't understand it, Laura. I thought Rob had such good taste. Well, ordinarily he does, Millie.
Lovely, but every once in a while he'll do something just like this. Last year he bought me a pair of shoes with plastic heels that glowed in the dark. <laughs> you mean you can't return this? Why I can't. Rob thinks it's beautiful. He's gonna want me to wear it all the time. If I know him, he'll ask me to wear it with my nightgown. <laughs> got rid of hers. <laughs> she went mad. <laughs> we can put it in the blender and drink it. <laughs> Millie. Well, you can always just throw it away. <laughs> Millie, you don't just throw away an expensive necklace. Wear it to a rough neighborhood. Maybe you'll get held up by a thief with that. <laughs> Will you stop making jokes and tell me what I'm going to do with that thing? Well, I know what I'd do if Jerry brought home something like this. What? I'd say, Jerry, take it back. I can't do that to Rob. He's too sensitive. He's too sensitive. <laughs> Millie, you know what I'm going to have to do? I'm just going to have to tell him the truth. Gently but honestly, I'll tell him that... Tell me what, honey? That, uh, I've never been so thrilled by anything in my life, and I just don't know how to show my appreciation. Honey... Um, you don't have to tell me anything. The way your face lights up when you put it on. <laughs> the way the whole room lights up when you put it on. It makes it worth everything. Honey, you just wear it and light up the world. Now, come on, you guys. What about that coffee? Tell him. After you leave. Good night, night Millie. Millie. <laughs> Boy, they were really impressed. You know, Jerry wanted to buy it from me. Come on, honey, I'll help you clear up the dishes. Oh, well, Rob, why don't we just sit here and talk for a while? Well, honey, it's kind of late. Can't we talk while we're clearing up the dishes? Well, I just feel like relaxing for a while. Sit here, honey. Okay. What do you want to talk about? Well, um, this. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> you want to talk about the necklace. Honey, you're really excited about it, aren't you? Oh, <clears throat> well, Rob, uh... uh... Honey, you don't have to say anything. It overwhelms me, too. I understand. No, Rob, I don't think you do. I think I do. Well, just let me talk for a while and don't interrupt me, all right? Okay, honey. Um, oh, Rob, I just can't, <clears throat> I can't tell you how, how thrilled I am that you bought this, this expensive necklace for me. Oh. Honey, it wasn't that expensive. Well, I mean, it, it wasn't my birthday, and I'll just... Oh, honey. Well, I'll never forget how you said you were giving it to me because I'm a nice guy. Honey, you don't have to say anything. <laughs> I understand. No, I don't think you do. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I've got a very beautiful and sensitive wife who appreciates a loving husband. Now, don't I understand? <laughs> now, <laughs> why don't you go and get ready to go to sleep, and I'll finish clearing up the dishes, okay? Okay. Hey, honey. 
Don't take off the necklace. I want to see what it looks like with your nightgown. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to buy you a matching bracelet. <laughs> Boy, is she happy. <laughs>
floods the living room. <laughs> All right. She's having a ball. Oh. Crying's her hobby. Um, Mother and Dad, would, would you excuse us for just a minute? Rob, could I see you in the kitchen for what? just a minute? Please? Sure, honey. <laughs> She's really excited about that necklace. What did you want me for, honey? Um, Rob? I want to ask you something, and I want you to be perfectly honest with me. Sure, what is it, honey? You will be honest, won't you? Well, aren't I always honest with you? Yes, you are. Rob, what would you say... How would you feel if I were to give the necklace to your mother as a present? What? Uh, well, her birthday isn't too far off, and I can't think of anything that would make her happier. Laura, do you mean you'd give my mother the necklace I gave you? Well, I guess it was a thoughtless suggestion. I'm sorry. Thoughtless? You're the nicest, sweetest, <laughs> kindest, most generous person in the whole world, honey. Oh, no, Rob, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are, honey. No, it's... It's just that your mother seems to really love it, and and I... I know. I know what you thought, and I love you for it, honey. Come on, let's go tell Mother. Yeah. <laughs> you really love her, don't you, Mom? It's only the most beautiful necklace I've ever seen in my life. And I go to museums. <laughs> what are you doing, Mom? Well, I'm trying to unclasp it. Oh, here, let me help you. Well, what have you done, son? You fastened it again. Mom, Laura and I want you to keep it. What? <laughs> <laughs> married a great girl. Laura wants to give it to you for your birthday. But my birthday is until... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late. I had to work. What do you have behind your back? <laughs> Close your eyes and hold out your hand. Okay, open them. Oh, Rob. Oh, you, you shouldn't have. I mean it. You really shouldn't have. Open it. <laughs> Honey, I looked all over town. And you found one? <laughs> you didn't find one. Well, I'm sorry, honey. I tried, but... Oh, Rob, it's beautiful. I love it. Oh, honey, it's no Empress Carlotta. Oh, but, Rob, it's so simple and elegant. Oh, honey, you're just saying that. <laughs> Rob, you may not believe this, but I love this one just as much. No, I love it more than the other. Honey, I don't believe you, but thanks for saying it anyway. And I love you. 
You know something? I want to let you in on a little secret about that Carlotta necklace. I know something about that necklace. Oh? Mm hmm. It's not so unusual. There are plenty of copies all over. And I'm not going to rest till I get my hands on one and put it around your neck. 